Welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, we're Cass and Lads and we're currently converting a 2015 Citroen Relay into our little home on wheels, looking to explore the rest of the UK and then on to Europe. Join us this week as we drive 250 miles across the country to the Welsh coast with some pretty epic views and maybe even get lost a little bit. Where do we go? Mate, I don't think it's down there. Make sure to like and definitely subscribe and enjoy the video. Welcome back to another week. Well, going. We literally adventure. just finished our last video and on to the next one. And this is going to be our first weekend getaway in the van in a quarter, maybe half, pushing it half, <laughs> finished van. Sure, all packed. Everything is all packed. Half of the stuff is in the shower. Yeah. Half of the stuff is under the bed. But I think we're ready to go and nothing should go flying, hopefully. Uh, hopefully. Let's go. We're good. <laughs> Let's go. What's the plan? We're gonna go to as the first, we're gonna pick up some supplies and then we're off on a three and a half hours. Yeah. Drive yeah. to where are we going? Uh, Shrewsbury, this place, this campsite. So we're gonna go there. It's about three and a half hour drive from here. So we need to get going because it's about two o'clock now. So hopefully we'll be there by like six before the sun sets and whatever. So yeah, come and join us on our first trip. Let's go. Owning a van, then from a quarter tank yeah. to full, it's 85. So I reckon quid. what, like 115, 120 quid for full tank? Yeah. God damn it. 84.99. I Is said 72. I think it might last us all the way there and back though. We'll see. It bloody better. It bloody better. <laughs> we'll see. Let's find out. <laughs> we know why it seems expensive. Huh? We know why it seems expensive. Why? Because the Fiesta is like 40 quid for full tank. Yeah, the little Fiesta. Well, nah, if it's completely empty, it's like 50 quid. But the regular fill up on the Fiesta is like 40 quid from like a quarter tank. So, yeah, welcome to owning a van. Yeah. Now, time for the air pressure. I don't even know what air we meant to have. Here we oh, go. Dear. It tells us here look, 65 psi, rear 72 psi. 65 front, 72.3 at the back. Need my wallet. So while Az is doing the tyres, I've just put the location in on the sat nav. Oh my gosh, why am I going to Bournemouth? Three hours and 41 minutes. Ta da! 210 miles, quarter to seven, it says. Head northwest, then turn left. <laughs> Should I live Laz's little car? Boom, boom. <laughs> on the road we go. I think we have arrived in Wales. Oh no, we're not in Yeah, but look, there are horses. Look at that view. I think the uh, view is getting there. What are you doing, Cass? Tell, tell them why we stopped. Because I needed the toilet. I Cass, try all the toilet. We're almost there. We're almost at the campsite. It's about 10 minutes away. 
And we've been going on this crazier road. It so wiggled my way out. It wiggled. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, we are at a beautiful spot anyway. So. There's a little baby. Hello, buddy. Definitely a shake test for the old gal. <laughs> It's a girl now, is it? We've been thinking know. about is the man a girl or a boy? We don't know. Let us know in the comments. Where do we go? Do we go in here? Where do we go? I've got no How do idea. we know? There are some tractors over there. Is it down there? Or if we see tents over there, we have no idea what's going on. Yeah. What did it say on the website? I don't know. We don't know? We just pull up in there. This it is. Ask this guy here. We're at the wrong site. We need to go to the next thing. I don't know where we are. Uh, there were no direct. There were, there were no signs or anything. But this looks like a cool little spot. I wonder what camp. Yeah. It, it says, says motorsport like motor or something. Look at that setup. Wow. Cool. So where, where are we? We go down here and just round the right. What to the right? Yeah. We need to go down there where the GPS yeah. says. Yeah. Did it say down there? This says it's down there. Down what that little down lane? There. Okay, mate. I don't think it's down there. I think we need to go back and then go down that next one. Can you? Can we just get out? And look? Back in the game. Oh, he's, he's coming. The guy is coming. It's not this one, is it? Okay, 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 thanks so much. Uh, now I've got to reverse, but we got the reverse camera, and if you want to know how to fit your reversing camera, <laughs> check out episode two. A kind man with a dog yeah. is giving us directions. Yeah, Alright, boys, we're going. Oh, we're almost there. <laughs> and then there. There it is. Look. There we go. Brown Found camping there we caravan. go in there. What does it please say? Can't, stop please and stop and book in. Alright, cool. All right, we're gonna book in and let you guys know how it goes. Yeah, eight pounds per person, so sixteen quid for the both of us for the night. Um, it looks like it's got toilets and showers and washing up facilities and stuff. It, I think it's literally just like a free for all, so you just find a kind of location that you like it's on grass so you can't, there's no like hard um standing pictures but yeah we'll check in when we get there when we wake hear the birds and see the sun side by side our fears are done all the good times just begun Right, this is our little setup for the night. Welcome to luxury. <laughs> gas burner, Cooking, some yeah. hot water. We're gonna a make gas some. burner. We're gonna have to make the spaghetti first and then the extras. Is that what we did last time? I we don't remember. Camping? I don't know. We gotta do the pasta. I first can be this chopping. Time. Yeah. Gas will be chopping. Alright, here we are. Pasta with some broccoli. <laughs> Cast is chopping mushrooms. Cajette. Blooms. We'll fry them up. Got some candles. Got the fairy light. <laughs> yeah, we've made it real cozy. <laughs> Not too shabby. Sun is setting. And it's really warm in the van, isn't it? It's so cozy. Yeah. We keep trying to keep the doors closed so the bugs don't go in and it yeah. keeps the well, warm in there. It's warm enough to sit out here anyway. But yeah, we're gonna get this brewed up, eat it up, got some drinks, awesome times.
Yeah. It's a cute little bridge. And from the campsite, you can go across the bridge and you get on this cute little path. So we thought we'd yeah. have a quick explore before we get there. Yeah. So, it's so cute. cute. Look at the sheep, he's in the shade, just chilling. I like how they are all in the shade. Yeah. <laughs> There's a rogue guy sitting there, but... That's so funny. Yeah. All right, good morning everybody. We got another adventure ahead of us today. We yeah. survived the first night while camping. Yeah. It was good. Yeah. How was your review of the first sleep? I reckon my sleep was probably like mm, a seven out of 10. It was a lot better than when we were oh, camping. Oh, it was so much better than our first night camping. Yeah. I think for me, it takes me ages to adjust to any other bed that's not my own, so. Yeah, it was pretty nice and quiet. We yeah. were fairly warm under the bed, not yeah. in uh, sleeping bags. No. The mattress was pretty, it was comfortable. Yep. And we had the toilet as well. Yeah, Lars so. needed a wee in the middle of the night, which was perfect. Yeah, it's so, when we went camping, I had middle of the night wees and you have to put your boots on, get outside, it's freezing cold, so. Yeah, yeah. and dark. It went really well. So, anyway, we went for a little adventure this morning, had a walk around, yep. and now we're gonna go to Shell Island. Yeah, so we've got to find a Tesco's, buy some food bits for tonight, buy some more ice for the cool box, and then we're off. So yeah, we're gonna try to get out of here. There is no signal, so yeah. the GPS has no idea where to that go. It's actually been quite nice though, hasn't it? Literally no signal, no Wi-Fi, no yep. Fuji, no anything. It's yep. been quite re refreshing. Just yeah, kinda... it's been nice. So yeah, we're gonna we've got to find a way out. Try to get out of here, and then we'll give you guys an update. But it should take us like two, two hours. hours. I think it said when we checked at home. Yeah. yeah, two hours to get there. Yeah. So we'll try to get out of here so we can get some signal. Yeah. I think I have an offline map, so I'll try to put that on, and yeah. um, we'll see yeah. how we get on. See on to the later. road. Making our way across Wales was honestly one of the most amazing drives we've done in a long, long time. Super amazing scenery and hills, mountains, you name it, it was on that road. It was quite an easy drive, some narrow routes, some pretty steep, 18% inclines, but the old gal was amazing at doing those hills and just as fun coming down, obviously. Travelling through the little seaside town of Barmouth, I think that's how you pronounce it, sorry if it's not, but it just made us want to jump straight into that Welsh Sea, regardless of the temperature, which we did find out, find out later on is pretty nippy. We then had a little explore around the campsite before setting up is honestly the biggest campsite that we've ever come across. Once set up, we said hello to Rich and Debs from Rich Bees Life Adventure and Lisa and Sam from The Craft Blinders, which in our next video, we're gonna give you quick tours of their van and get to meet those as well. And now onto the beach. Rate it, Lars. 10 out of 10 campsite. <laughs> And the beach is not that busy. I mean, yeah. yeah, it's the afternoon now, but... Yeah, it is half five. It's still so warm. We made a promise or a commitment to each other that we have to go swimming in the sea. In, well, no. Not now. In every open body of water where we camp at. Yeah. So, this will be the first one. <laughs> or we'll do it tomorrow. Yeah, when it's a bit warmer. Well, when we've got longer to warm up. Found a giant jellyfish. Wow, I think there's a jellyfish. We're in the sea. Woo! Guys, take your flippers off. Why? <laughs> Dan, I'm pulling out my shorts. Get, get your kit off. <laughs> Are we going 
Thanks so much for, for watching this week's video. Join us next week for part two of this vlog where we finally put our little toesies in the coldest Welsh sea that we've ever prob probably swam in, even if Lars was petrified of the jellyfish. We also then meet Sam and Lisa from the Crafty Blinders and they kindly let us poke our head into their van and also meet Richard and Debbie from Rich Bees Life Adventure who were the kindly the people who invited us along to this weekend away. As you can see both of our vans are only half done if that so it just goes to show that you don't need to have a fully finished van to be able to explore what is on your doorstep of this amazing country thanks so much for watching and we will see you next week for part two